Medford teachers continue to picket on streets and out of classrooms. District and the Teachers Association cannot come to terms on a new employment contract. Both sides scheduled to start negotiations again tomorrow. District says classes will also continue tomorrow with substitutes hired over the weekend and Medford teachers who have decided to cross picket lines. Hundreds of substitute teachers were hired to help keep Medford schools running during the strike, but last week, Superintendent Phil Long says some were let go. He says the subs fired were not keeping the students academically busy and adds it did not have to do with any safety concerns. Some Medford high school students could be at risk of losing college course credit. New students Ashley Carrasco explains why the concern won't be addressed until after the strike. Once the strike is settled, we'll look forward to talking with teachers. Hundreds of high school students are at risk of losing college course credit because of the Medford teacher strike. This quarter, juniors and seniors combined have registered more than 450 times for advanced Southern credit. These units are different from advanced placement classes. The content of the class is the same as what we would be teaching in that class on a college campus. Gene Stolman, the executive director of Southern Oregon University, says students and teachers need to be able to prove all of the content of their college credit class is being taught. No, we're not currently talking to teachers. With the current Medford teacher strike, some of those courses are not being offered, making it difficult to track whether a student is actually doing the work. They would have a syllabus at the start of class, uh, at the start of the academic term, outlining what the course work to be covered is. Stallman adds, while students should continue to follow the class agenda, the university is still unsure how they will go about grading the students. The first thing we'll do is get in touch with the teachers via email. It'll be waiting for them when they are back, um, inviting them to get in touch with us and let us know how we can move forward. Any courses taken in the fall have already been counted. The credits at risk are for classes that would have began in late January. Stallman says it's unfortunate students have to go through this, but she says they should not worry too much. What colleges are really looking for are students who are uh, high achieving, self-motivated learning. Covering your news, Ashley Carrasco, News 10. Southern Oregon University says it is not processing registration fees until the issues are resolved.